you guys, it's Victoria, and I am about to leave, but I wanted to do this quick video because um, yesterday I opened two of those Harmless Harvest coconut waters that I always drink, and they were like sour, and they just weren't right, and that happens every once in a while. You open one of those, and it's just not right it doesn't taste right and that is completely normal because it's coming from a real coconut and you know produce isn't perfect and produce can go bad so um but yesterday morning i didn't have any coconut water and i really felt the difference you know i swear that stuff is like medicine it is so just uh, medicinal is the only word I can think of right now. I love coconut water. So this morning I am making sure that I have some coconut water. And I didn't get another Harmless Harvest one because I'm afraid that this batch or whatever you call it is all going to be bad. So I whipped out my Cocoa Jack and I got a real Thai coconut. And it was a small one so I only got this much coconut water. But can you see, like, this just, it looks so real, and it, this just is so beneficial to the body, and I really, really want to encourage you guys to look into raw coconut water. They have all kinds of coconut waters on the market right now. They sell them quite a few places, but the thing is, is that those are all pasteurized, and we don't want to pasteurize our drinks because it totally... Um, deadens the life force and it takes the enzymes away and um, it just it lessens the nutrient value and we want living foods you know that's a whole point of my whole channel here on YouTube is that we want to incorporate living foods into our daily lives and pasteurization pfft, no fun so um, you know get a Cocoa Jack and, and look into organic Thai coconuts I know that organic Thai coconuts are a little bit hard to find. I'm so blessed that I have a source where I live where I can get organic Thai coconuts, but you can also order them online. So you have to weigh the pros and cons about inorganic Thai coconuts and organic, and you have to, um, you know, think about if that's something that's important to you. It's something that is important to me. Organic produce um, totally has my heart, and I love it, and I appreciate its value and I also realize that the more organic produce people buy um, it's like supply and demand. People, the farmers will see a need to um, create more organic produce for everyone so I love buying it for that reason too but I'm telling you this is gonna light me up this morning and then um, this afternoon I'm going to the sauna so I will have my electrolytes in the morning and then I can feel free to sweat out some of the electrolytes and the toxins and um, and then for dinner I'm gonna eat some celery for the natural sodium so I just oh, I still love the sauna you guys look into that too but also for this morning if I so choose let me see here we go um, I have this little glass and this is orange juice and I freshly squeezed this this morning and I did it by hand which was a mistake I was like oh I don't want to clean out the juicer so I just did it by hand I have one of those orange presses and my hands hurt afterwards so long story short use your juicer it's a lot easier <laughs> um, but this is orange juice but the reason why it's green is because I put wheatgrass powder into it now let me just say I had I went through a period of time where I was totally against powders and supplements and you know I still am for the most part but I understand the importance of greens okay for anyone no matter what diet or lifestyle you're on but um, sometimes like juicing my own wheatgrass or making my own green juice sometimes that is time-consuming and you know, I'm not perfect in this lifestyle. I could be drinking and making more green juices. And it's something I'm really gonna work on in 2015 is green juices and upping my intake of green juices. But so they but they still sell, you know, green powders. One of my favorites is Vitamin Mineral Green. I know that they sell that at Whole Foods. Um, I love uh, Dr. Robert Morse's superfood blend. Um, but I saw this little packet of it's kind of crumpled right now, but it's uh, just powdered raw organic wheatgrass powder. 
and that's the only ingredient in here is organic whole leaf wheatgrass powder so I just took half of this packet and I put it into my orange juice and you know I was looking online to the benefits of wheatgrass I already knew its benefits but I just wanted to read up on it because I'm constantly doing that you know it's so fun for me to eat a meal of raw living foods and then go on the internet and look up the benefits and I'm like oh I got all those benefits you know anyway so I was doing that with wheatgrass and look it up you guys if I can find the page I was looking at I will link it below but it is just this whole list of benefits so I'm really into wheatgrass powder lately but also fresh wheatgrass you know I have a masticating juicer that can juice wheatgrass pretty well so I really like I said I want to up my green juices in 2015 because they are so alkalizing um they might not be as good of a detoxer as fruit and herbs but they are still so beneficial for the body and long term you want to keep your hair healthy, your skin healthy, your nails healthy and how do you do that? By keeping your minerals, okay? And also I read that wheatgrass has B12 in it so that's pretty cool. I think I've heard that before but maybe not. Um, but yeah, that's my video for today. This morning I'm going to be loving my liquids and my just total vibrancy. You know what I mean? This is just vibrancy and I love it. So I wanted to do a video for today. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Today's Friday, but I'm not sure if this video will be uploaded on Friday. Maybe if I'm on point it will be. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and look into raw coconut water and keep eating your living foods because it will make you so vibrant and so happy. No one has ever regretted eating a fruit or vegetable, you know what I mean? Because they're just, they're just off the chain. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.